Hey everyone, welcome back to another video and today we're going to discuss something unfortunate that happened to one of the greatest applications for us homebrew users and in all of homebrew community and that is RetroArch. Unfortunately, they had a problem where, a huge problem, a very serious problem where a hacker broke into their server, their information and started sabotaging all their hard work and it's just really sad to see something like this happen especially for an application like at retroarch which is one of the best it's probably in my top three uh, homebrew applications to have on your ps vita it's just an amazing uh, program and it's a multi-platform program so it runs off pc uh, your phone uh, all sorts of different uh, consoles as long as you have custom firmware or whatever they're asking for you to install when using this application on a platform, on a certain platform. So right now I'm running uh, RetroArch on my PS Vita and one of the questions I'm getting uh, right now, it's just been uh, crazy comments left and right saying, hey, RetroArch is not working. Hey, did you see Roblox that uh, they got hacked and nothing off their website is working? Uh, can you provide me the VPK or do you know another source? So, if you already have RetroArch, you don't have to worry about that. And they discussed that in their blog. This was posted on August 16th. Uh, so, hacker vandalized our build bots and GitHub organization. So, you don't have to worry about your Vita being compromised at all as long as you have everything installed correctly. And using their online services through the application is probably not going to work. So just try to avoid updating anything and just turn that off completely. Um, that way you don't come across any issues like that. So I always tell you guys to back up your VPKs because you never know when something like this happens. And RetroArch is one of those applications you need to have on your PS Vita for that amazing experience and they provide so much for us updating constantly and giving us really good performance off of our ROMs it is just one of the best and just back up your VPK if you have it and just keep it on your Vita you never know like I said when something like this happens they could pull the plug and be like you know what we're done this cost us too much money and we're not getting the support that we deserve or we want so this is the end of RetroArch and they will no longer support it. So that's why we have to be very uh, thankful and grateful for some of these guys who do this stuff for free and give us these uh, amazing these amazing programs and software for us to mess around and have fun with. So I'll have a link in the description to their Patreon and also to their uh, online store where you can buy all sorts of cool merch, which I'm going to purchase today. And I'm very excited. Hopefully... They'll ship it out and uh, this problem that they're having won't delay that. So if you already have RetroArch like I do up above, that's my PS Vita 1000 running Donkey Kong 2, one of my favorite games of all time, and it's working perfectly for me. Let's move on to their latest blog post and see what exactly happened and what they're doing to resolve this problem. And I'm not going to read every single thing here, we're just going to go through couple highlights and hopefully this doesn't take long it's not a big post so there's their latest release which I was gonna cover but then this happened <laughs> alright so the hacker did the following damage he accessed our buildbot server and crippled the nightly stable buildbot services and the netplay lobby service Right now the core updater won't work the websites for these have also been rendered inaccessible for the moment he gained access to our lib retro organization on GitHub, impersonating a very trusted member of a team, and force pushed a blank initial commit commit to a fair percentage of our repositories, effectively wiping them. Wow, he managed to do damage to three out of the nine pages of the repositories. RetroArch and everything preceding it on page three has been left intact before his access got curtailed. And they're still waiting a response or support from GitHub. And they're really hoping that they'll come in and help them with this huge problem. 
Now here's where they wanted to clear up some confusion that may have arisen in the wake of this these news breaking. <laughs> No cores or retroarch installations should be considered compromised. The attacker simply wiped our buildbot server clean. There's nothing being distributed that could be considered malicious to your system. Very good. Nothing has happened here and there is no need for any concern. For the current time being, the core installer is non-functional until further notice. The same goes for update assets, update overlays, and update shaders. Okay. So here's where they talk about the lack of automated backups. This brings us to another key issue, the lack of backups. We last performed backup of our BuildBot server about a couple months ago. The truth is, while we pay a hefty amount for the servers on a monthly basis already, there's simply not enough money to pile on automated backups as well. So we could really use the support on Patreon, awesome. Especially since this is now pretty much mandatory server how we will restore things so are we going to hope that github will restore as for a build bot no idea to be quite frank it's a shame what is happening to the emulation homebrew community when it isn't developers leaving for greener pastures deciding it's no longer worth it prestigious developers like bayou are being forced to early retirement because of unsavory online gang stalkers supporting us through their patreon supporting them through the patreon is a great way for helping out especially if we can reach 1300 bucks which means we can spend a bit more each month to, s to make sure our stuff is properly backed up and their last post is regarding the android core installer situation interesting Never really looked into the Android RetroArch app. Hopefully we will in the future. And here is their Twitter. And on August 15th, that's when the hack occurred. We are now anticipating this, so we have no idea how long it will take to restore. Billbot server hacked. We have a sketch stretch goal for a long time for 1300, so we can actually have regular backups. And their latest post, let's see here. So on August 16th, they mentioned that GitHub has told them that they are not able to restore their repositories. I'm sorry to say that we aren't able to restore a branch or repository to its previous state on our end, so we'll have to do it manually. And then on August 17th, we have now restored most of GitHub repositories by hand. There might still be some PRs that were forced closed during the vandalism we will have to figure out a solution there still step two is restoring the build bot for temporary use until we use the new server and that was their latest post a couple days ago so i will keep track of this and keep you guys updated and if you have any questions please comment down below and as far as a vpk goes just look online i would go to reddit and also on Twitter, they're sharing uh, files on the old releases of RetroArch. Okay, so now we're going to take a look at RetroArch here on my Vita and see exactly what we got going on. And I'm going to close my game here, Donkey Kong Country 2. And everything looks to be intact. All of my games seem to be working. And in your main menu, the online updater is not going to work. So don't use that. So that is it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I know I had a lot of people comment and message me about this uh, problem that they're having. And very concerned about it and seeing hey what are we to think of with this on our ps vita so there you go we shouldn't have any issues and make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss an update in the future so i'll be updating you guys as much as i can with anything that they release and hopefully they'll come back very strong with a uh, more powerful uh, server to help them maintain all of their hard work so that is it. Take care, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.